In the next decade, more than 85 million jobs could go unfilled because there aren't enough skilled workers to take them. This holds back economic growth and blocks too many people from accessing opportunity. One way to solve for the skill gap is through apprenticeships. To tell us how J.P. Morgan Chase is helping prepare the workforce of today for the jobs of tomorrow, we're joined by Head of Jobs and Skills for Global Philanthropy, Matt Minch. Welcome. Thank you very much. It's awesome to be here. Matt, in a day and age where technological advancements are happening all the time, why are apprenticeships so important and why is it a unique model for learning? So apprenticeship is one of the most effective models of talent development because it integrates classroom instruction on skills with hands-on job training that allows individuals to develop and demonstrate practical skills and gain experience directly applicable to their chosen profession. This solves a well-known problem of not being able to get a job until you've done a job. Apprenticeships say, hey, let's just get you started doing that job while you're learning. For students, it's a great way to launch a career, debt-free. And for employers, including those in the financial sector, apprenticeships are a new source of skilled talent, fulfilling hard-to-fill roles and helping those companies adapt to the changing technology and market demands that you mentioned. And I want to say also, sometimes there's confusion about what's an apprenticeship and why is it different from an internship? The main thing is an apprenticeship is a job. It's a commitment of the company to hire you and help you grow in that first phase of your career. And it's usually between, in this case, one and three years. Whereas, you know, an internship is usually a shorter term sort of try out and maybe you'll get invited back when you graduate from school, but it's defined as a start and stop time uh, and is, you know, again, a tryout rather than a, a full time job commitment. We've had apprenticeships in trade fields for a long time. Why is this a focus right now for the firm? Exactly. So this is a proven model for electricians and carpenters, uh, all the trades. Uh, and in recent years, We've realized it can be applied to new occupations, such as in technology and finance or healthcare, roles that have been very difficult to fill recently. So the firm's efforts to create a more equitable labor market, of course, includes our own workforce, uh, but it also extends to community partners, philanthropic initiatives, and policy solutions that we support to expand economic opportunity more broadly. Uh, and we know that creating long-lasting impact and implementing apprenticeships at large scale will require us to work with both public and private partners. And how is J.P. Morgan Chase expanding the number of apprenticeship programs? To start, through our philanthropy. So we've invested in initiatives that support apprenticeship programs across the U.S. This includes our recent three and a half million dollars of commitment to several programs expanding apprenticeships to new fields like in software development and cybersecurity and to starting that opportunity earlier for youth in high school who want to get started on a career pathway. In addition to the philanthropic investments, J.P. Morgan Chase Policy Center recently released a few policy briefs that articulate how we can modernize the U.S. apprenticeship system to expand the, that number of apprentices and to make sure it's a useful solution in these more high growth fields, as I said, like technology and finance. So how do apprenticeships fit into the firm's workforce efforts? Sure, so our commitment to creating these pathways to in-demand careers includes our own talent pipeline. Now, across the US and Europe, we have about 10 apprenticeship programs active in areas such as operations, finance, and technology that we've built with local schools, that's high schools, as well as colleges and nonprofit partners that means J.P. Morgan is hiring apprentices for important roles at the firm and having great success with it. You might have heard of the CareerWise program in New York that we're very active with. It starts with high school students. In Chicago, we work with the City Colleges of Chicago system. That's the two-year school system in Chicago for tech apprenticeship programs and software. Um, and ultimately, I mean, this work is about helping employees and future employees build the skills to be successful now in their jobs and in future over the life of their career. Matt Minch, Head of Jobs and Skills for Global Philanthropy. Thank you so much for being here today. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you for having me.